Tisa, Tisa. Man, it look like um, 1501 and Megan and Stallion has reached a deal, man. They are officially part raised. Now, I think I make a video earlier or I post her comment uh, um, a few weeks ago, a few days ago, where she's talking about how she was going to release a new project independently. But we all were like, hmm? Shreggy? I thought you were still under 1501. And I, didn't, I thought she still owed 1501 one more deal. And, um, and she still signed with 300, right? Well, she announced with uh, uh, both 1501 and I uh, put a handshake that uh, I don't know whatever deal they reach. It looked like their partnership is fortunately over. I don't know if she bought herself out of the deal or, you know, whatever the court is. So they officially part ways. So she would be now. now it's not sure if she still would be under 300 or or, or she gonna resign with them or, or or the deal is over, right? And I believe that deal might be over because I think um, how many projects that she did, I think she did like three or five. Normally when you first started, you have between three or five projects, right? And I think she had really um, done that. Maybe not five, but I think she's another three or stuff like that. And many one people, um, um, one or two of 15 or one didn't count. Maybe 15 or one didn't count it, but uh, 300 man still counting, whatever, right? Because and in, in hoping she resign with them, right? Now, she said she's gonna be independently and uh, she tried to, I guess, what she tried to do is uh, build a, 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 a strong audience because since the, the, the toilet shit, uh, she be telling everything been kind of iffy with her, with people and like that. So she doesn't know how that thing gonna go. And she doesn't want to label to like stop her to like putting album. So I think she's gonna try to go do like putting song after song after song and build a good fan base before she go. And you know, one thing about labels, man, if you you do one project and it didn't go well, right? And then the next time you want to do another project, try to like, you know what I mean? Try to, try to, try to test the water. Cause you know sometimes you can, you can try to go one way and the fans they like how you go. And then you want to try to go another way. And the label said, no, we give you too much money for that project. It didn't go well. We don't have no more money for you. You gotta wait two, three years until we, we could sum of that money. Well, if you're independent, you don't have to. Remember what happened with Rick Ross? If it wasn't like Rick Ross situation, he was, even though his album was in sale, but he was dropping music after music after music. So even though, um, 50 Cent was trying to look like trying to uh, discredit him, but because he was dropping so much music, it could have stopped his um, his um, his um, his um, movement and shit like that, right? So when you continue dropping music, and even though people try to shit on you, but you're still dropping music like like you don't bother, you know what I mean? Eventually, people say one or two songs gonna they're gonna go, and I say that's what happened. With was maybe the album is so, but one or two songs always go, and they always we could always have a song, a, a radio song, a club song. So that help him out to like stick out and uh, uh, able to sustain and shit like that. So we don't know exactly like, what well, um, she is smart enough to, to go that route. Uh, for that further, I'm thinking about, but still, at the end of the day, man, if she's independent, she's able to drop music whenever she wants. She and she can try to go multiple routes until she finds something that, that stick. And um, yeah, that's what she try to do. We'll continue watch the journey, and we'll we'll talk about it as the story goes. But let me know what you think about that, man. What do you think about um, 1501 and uh, Megan Thee officially part ways? Do you think it's a great move for both of them? What do you think 51 are gonna do now? Now they don't have Megan Thee Stallion. They don't have, um, what's the other female artist again? Uh, um, yeah, so she, they don't really have a lot of artists that are, are really on the radio. Now this guy is not gonna go broke because he was he was um, a baseball player. I think he remember signed a, three, a $300 million deal. So that's $150 million after taxes. So, and then I'm sure he got other business venture. I think he will be fine. You know, he just have to like, uh, um, he just like, when it comes to music thing, maybe that, that's like a passion thing. And uh, eventually he'll hope you find a way to make it work. But guys, let me know what you think about that. If you're first time to my channel, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Deuces.